So Funko probably just made their biggest announcement of 2023, and this is extremely good news for Funko Pop collectors. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're enjoying your day. So today we're gonna to be going over Funko's fan reward system that was just announced today. There is a lot of information, a lot of exclusive perks, lots of stuff we have to go over. But before we jump into all that, we have our question of the day, and that is name a Funko Pop in your collection where you can't see Funko's signature black eyes, and I'm gonna go with Spidey here. So here's Funko's typical homepage, but if you're looking for the fan reward section, you just click this little icon up in the top right hand corner, and it will take you to the fan reward section. So there's obviously a lot to go over here, and I'll try to go through it as fast as possible. So in the latest section, we basically have your teaser trailer, Loungefly on Instagram, Funko Games, latest just being the latest Funko news essentially, and maybe every week they'll probably update it with new little points that you can get just by kind of clicking over and seeing what's going on with Funko. If you go over to the content section, there's honestly a lot going on here, seriously. Funko Fusion trailer, you get 10 points just for watching it or checking out the uh, paragraph that they have you read. You even get points for reading about their Fanatic of the Week, 10 points there, it's coming soon to Funko Games. Just a lot of information here, to be honest. A lot of old stuff that they've already kind of talked about, but they want more eyes on, so they're rewarding you, basically. And then in your digital section, a little bit of just basically their social medias. I did a couple things just to kind of show you guys what it looks like when you cleared it. You get 10 points by checking out Funko Games, TikTok, Twitter. Good Lord, I didn't even know they had. They have a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok for a game that nobody plays. That's kind of interesting, to be honest. But why? Seems like a lot of money well spent. Connect your Facebook account so you get like 10 points there, Instagram, everything like that. Just connecting with Funko. And then you can learn about the apps, Abska, Abska, ASPCA, I'm just gonna, I believe that's how you say that, I don't know. Is there a pronunciation for the abbreviation or did I just sound stupid there? Let me know. If you go over to the survey section, this is where it gets a little interesting. So I did one of them and just to kind of see what it's like, do you collect in box or out of box? If you click on it, it kind of pulls it up of what your vote was, but I'll just do another one here. Tell us your favorite fandom. From anime enthusiasts to sci-fi fanatics, we know our fans love a plethora of different fandoms. Tell us which of these is your favorite and you get 50 points just for answering a question. So what is your favorite fandom? Mine's obviously anime and manga, but it's also like comics and superheroes, so it's a little weird that you can't choose multiple, honestly, but... I submit it and I got 50 points pretty easily, to be honest. Here's another little survey, more of like a quiz, honestly, based off the question. Basically some Star Wars kind of trivia and lore based on what you know. Now, I don't even, I, I haven't even seen all the Star Wars movies, so I don't even know. Yeah, I'm not a nerd. Never tell me the odds kind of sound, I, I don't know, I'm going to go with 3,000. Oh, look at that, look at that, I'm, I'm awesome, I, I guess, I don't, wait, wait, you answered no questions correctly. Never mind, I'm not awesome, I'm stupid. But basically, you guys get the point. You answer these surveys and you get a bunch of different points. When you refresh, this one will highlight gray. Now, moving on to the game section, you get 50 points just for checking out their Funko Pop Blitz game and downloading it, as well as checking out all the social medias kind of like attached to that. I'm assuming they'll add more, honestly, because they have so many other Funko games, especially when their new Funko Fusion game drops. I'm sure we'll get a bunch of different things for that. And lastly, get started. This is just signing up for more Funko notifications, newsletter, notifications on SMS, Loungefly newsletter, basically just to get more followers and kind of like people, I guess, looking at their stuff. Create a pop avatar of yourself. If you go and create your own online, you get 25 points for that. Probably the biggest incentive here that most people are going to care about is the fact that now going forward, earn 10 points on every dollar you spend on Funko.com and Loungefly.com. I honestly think it's a little silly that Funko is now just realizing that a fan reward system would actually work and entice people to purchase more on their website. I mean, they're like extremely late to the game. Hot Topic's been doing this for the last decade. Look at us. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. So what do you do with all these fan rewards points you just earned? So for example, I have 440 points. They have a Freddy Funko signed from 2018. If you click it here, if you have 10,000 points, then you are able to redeem it for this signed Freddy Funko, um, signed by Brian Mariotti and Mike Becker, which is kind of cool, I guess. Another one is for 100 points. Looks like this is a little bit unlimited at the moment. SDCC Day 1 Loungefly Main Booth Front of the Line Access Giveaway. 
Now, when you go to redeem the reward, you get a lot of information here. One of the things stating enter for a chance to win one of eight spots. So there are only eight spots. Only eight people can win. And the final prize is a Funko Games signed copy of Rear Window. I personally haven't even heard of this, obviously, before my time. But game collectors gather for an unusual treat. This is your chance to collect a copy of Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window signed by the Funko Games creator that worked on the game. That's kind of cool, actually. Now, more redeemables do include Take Over the Funko Marquee, Shout Out on the Funko Marquee, 1,000 points there. Fanatic Shout Out, you do get a shout out on Fun TV for 5,000 points. That's kind of cool, I guess. Funko Everett Store Tour, 7,500 points. That's honestly not a lot of points to get a store tour and access to it. That's pretty cool, though you could just wait in line and go inside, to be honest. Also Funko Hollywood, and probably one of the biggest, craziest prizes here is a personal sculpt. You obviously have to spend a lot of money to get this at 100,000 points. And what this entails is time to make some room in your collection for a new legendary character yourself. Now here's where the exciting stuff happens. Obviously we all love saving money in the discounts portion. For 1,000 points you get $5 off, 2,000 points $10 off. 3,000 points, $15 off, and so on and so forth. So it's really cool to finally get some incentive for spending hundreds of dollars a year with Funko on their website. <laughs> finally! For digital, um, pinata, social pack, whatever this stuff is, fan reward sticker, so pretty cheap stuff for digital. Donation, you can donate your points to donate dollars to multiple different charities, which is pretty cool to be honest. Merchandise. Oh, they have more of those available. It looks like they just feature. So all kinds of different things here. And our final section is the sweepstakes section, which is pretty interesting, actually. So it does look like they have a section where you can enter to win a spot for purchasing Funko Pops at SCCC. They have day one, two, three. They also have a tour of Funkoville uh, giveaway entry. I don't know if that includes kind of like being able to purchase these pops. A tour of Funkoville kind of seems weird, to be honest, because like, I mean, you can just walk around it. <laughs> so that's really weird. I don't understand the words you just said. This one's pretty interesting. SDCC tickets to Fun Days giveaway. Now that is actually pretty good because Fun Days tickets on the aftermarket usually go for thousands of dollars. So that's a pretty big little incentive there for just redeeming some points you could randomly win. Shop SDCC store exclusives early at Funko Everett or Funko Hollywood. You also have a two pack sign and the soda signed. This last little history section just kind of shows you rewards history for your transactions and your activity history. So nothing too interesting here, but it kind of just shows you everything you've done. Now, my final thoughts on this whole fan reward system is that it's extremely overdue. Like this should have been implemented years ago, especially with all of us collectors that have spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on the Funko shop over the course of these last few years long overdue system. I'm glad it's finally here. And if you're wondering why they're just now doing this, in the last like two years, they've been trying to increase their direct to consumer approach. And what that means basically is where you see all of these new exclusives from Hot Topic, Child's Collectibles, GameStop popping up on the Funko shop left and right. That's them putting it on their website versus selling it to GameStop and they make more money by selling it directly to you and cutting out the middleman, which is all of these other retailers. So they just make more money essentially. So in the reality of the situation, even though it is long overdue, this is a really good thing for Funko and a really good thing for the collectors. Make sure to let me know in the comments your thoughts and opinions on this whole fan reward system. Now, with that all being said, I do want to say a big shout out to all the Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys rock for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. We also have a Facebook group with over 17,000 members that's buy, sell, and trade. And make sure to be following me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.